Double flutes. That's the topic of this month's flute cast, uh, sometimes called drone flutes, because they have two chambers. Two chambered flute is another um, uh, a term, because we have actually two flutes in the same instrument. There is one side that plays a steady drone sound, typically matching the all holes closed of the other side, the side with the finger holes, right? We have a side with finger holes and two flute tubes and two sound holes in the sound mechanism. And sometimes you have separate uh, birds, separate blocks, and sometimes you have a single block like this flute, uh, which is together, okay? And you're playing, depending on how the mouth setup is. You can play both at the same time, or you can have the choice of playing one or the other by playing it off to the side or using your tongue to stop one or the other up, okay? So if I play one side, it's just a regular flute. And that's a great technique. Play the one side solo and then repeat your melody with the drone on. So, there's a, a technique, a song form, solo, and then with the drone, and without the drone, and with the drone. Okay? Uh, the... Those two should be in pitch with each other. If you're going to play them together, they should have the same sound. So, play both together, all holes closed on one side, and the drone on the other should match. very different sounds. Listen to this. I'm not using vibrato there. I have a steady breath, but I'm getting It means the two are very slightly out of pitch with each other. You hear the beating wah 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 wah. The beating tells you exactly the frequency that they differ by. One is going at some number of cycles per second, and the other side is going at a slightly different number of cycles per second. And the difference between the two is the number of cycles per second that they're out of tune with each other. So, if I play them one at a time, I can hear which is higher. My drone side is higher. What's the rule for the bird? If I move the bird up, it gets sharper. If I move the bird down, it gets flatter. What I want to do is move the bird down on the drone side to make it flatter and up on the, um, uh, up on the regular flute side to make it sharper. And so the way I would do this is I would tamp the bird a little bit and let's see what happens. Notice the beating is still there, but it's slower. The slower it is, the closer I am to in tune. I'm going to do it a little bit more. And there I am. Out of tune the way it was before. 
closer to in tune. Getting slower, getting there. And the way you get the two sides in tune with each other. Now you might like them a little bit out of tune. That's a cool sound. It's almost like a warble in the sense that I'm not using vibrato to get that pulsation. I just breathe into the flute. Do you notice the other notes are not so it doesn't sound like a perfect fifth, whereas... Closer to in tune. Another thing you can do is, uh, and this is a performance technique, you can play the drone side on the bottom note, but you can also kick it up to the octave. Hard to do if you're just playing it solo, but if you're playing it with the other side, there's some, uh, I've discussed this with flute makers, there's some effect where the playing side will affect the drone side and encourage it to play up in an octave higher. Overblown. See, not quite getting it. Let's see if I can encourage it by sliding the bird forward, down a little bit. Can't do it right now. I was gonna demo that, but you can, on some flutes, kick the drone side up uh, to the octave. And that's a, that's a performance technique. And some songs are actually scored that way. There are uh, Mary Youngblood songs though, where she intentionally uh, has control of the drone side, whether it's playing on the uh, fundamental, the uh, matching the all holes closed, or the overblown matching the octave note, okay, on the playing side. Um, so that's, um, that's kind of the style that most people play these drone instruments in. Very melodic, long tone. I like to play it. For some reason, I really think it sounds great if you play these instruments um, rhythmically. Using tonguing. And rhythmic chirping. Remember, rhythmic chirping. There is a rhythmic chirping uh, flute cast, and it, it uh, allows you to play rhythmically using your fingers. I'll use both of those techniques, and I'll just jam away in this rhythmic mode that I like to play. Some uh, double flute techniques, drone flute techniques. Enjoy. <laughs> 